What's up everybody? Uh, in this video I'm going to be doing a long video explaining how uh, Monday.com works and how it can help you for your company or your projects or whatever you're doing. Um, you probably looked into it, you probably got ads on Facebook for this or you've gotten ads on YouTube for this. It's been everywhere on my radar anyways I've seen lots of ads on it so I decided I would get in here and I would start to look around and see what I could see and how it worked and how everything ran so um, the gist of what it is is it's a project management software for a lot of different aspects of business so some of the things that you can do is you can make a board and a board is basically whatever you want it to be but that board let's just say that this board we're gonna do a project and we're gonna say this is a project for a new client that we got and that new client is called um, office supply .com. All right, so OfficeSupply.com is our new client, right? And we have some tasks that we have to do for them, some consulting and stuff that we have to line up for. We're doing a marketing plan, right? Um, so, you know, to give a more general overview of all the templates that they have, they have templates for marketing, content production, project management, right? All these different subsets of templates in here that can basically fit almost anything that you need to do. They've got one here for video production, right? Um, and these are just built-in templates to kind of give you these ideas of how you could do certain things, right? Like the stuff is already kind of built in. Um, like this one with the pre-production, you can see where it shows, hey, is voiceover done? Is the location approved? Is the storyboard up and running? Is the script done? Right? All of these templates to, that I've seen are very much in tune with that, right? So you're going to have... Um, something sort of pre-built and accessible for many of the different business tasks you would be taking on for various different projects. So um, you've got stuff for freelancers, you got stuff for software development, um, for your HR, your manufacturing, you know, for all these different um, things. They even have one for venture, venture capital, which is pretty cool. It shows like what checks you've given out to what companies and what you've evaluated them at and all this stuff. And so First, we're going to go back and we're going to do our, our marketing plan right here. Okay, so we're just going to do the projects overview template, right? That sounds about right. And it looks about right. And so here we go. We're just going to use this one. So what you can do then is you can go in here for OfficeSupply.com. Let's say that I have two or three people on it, right? I can just go in here and I can save. The, I can assign those specific people. Let's say I've got Bob on this client, right? And so Bob's going to run everything with this client. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to make this project be first thing we need to do for them is a website. And then the second thing we need to do for them is we need to get uh, uh, social media accounts made, right? And then the other thing we're going to do for them is we're going to do a commercial, right? So that's cool. So you go in here and each of these you can actually chat, right, about um, the project, right? with all the people that are assigned to that project, right? You can see the progress on that. You can, you know, give a priority to that. You can set timelines. The cool thing about the timelines is you can see, uh, you know, multiple boards, right? You can see how much workload individual people have on individual projects and on all of their projects, right? You can see how much um, like how much time you have in it in the most visual sense right you've got you can drag your timeline you can make it shorter you can you can move things around in a very visual sense which to me is great because looking at numbers on a calendar and just trying to you know you have to write down a list of everything that you have to do and then try to figure out if you can fit everything in um, it's all, it's all rather, it can get pretty messy pretty quick, right? So, um, in my experience, anyway. So, this is a really great feature, the timeline, um, to help with that. I really like that. Uh, so, with this, you can get um, in your chats, right, on these different subsets of these projects inside these boards, you can get all of these different notifications about um, who's pinging you about what projects, who's talking where. You can get desktop notifications and you can get them when you just have the uh, 
the software up, which this is cloud software, so you know you just go to a URL. That's basically all that means. This is just something that you're going to go to a website, you're going to log into that website, and you're going to be able to use it right there. So you're going to have all that. Now with dashboards, right, like for your um, maybe your higher level managers, right, they're going to be able to see things like progress of completion on a group of tasks, right? So you can create these widgets where you can actually see um, countdowns to certain dates. You can see um, who's done what on what project, right? It, there's there's like a million different ways you can you can do these widgets, right? So that you can have somebody log in and basically just see where you're at very quickly instead of having them waste their time compiling a board that shows you know when something is going to be completed you can just they can just log in here and they can see um, they can see exactly what they need to see right and that that is very good because this is just time saver this just helps automate some of these things so um, one thing too you have shareable boards and you have private boards so I have a secret project in here that I made and this is for a anti-gravity machine at my company you know very hush hush I don't want everyone to see it and you know it doesn't have to be a secret project or development project that you're doing it can be something as simple as like a supervisory board right you don't want everyone to have access to who everyone's supervisors are or performance report boards or a disciplinary action uh, board or something like that like hey we have some issue with some employee let's say they got in trouble or they were doing something arbitrary so like we need to figure out um, how we're gonna deal with them and maybe we have that that's a project right that's an issue in the company that you have to devote time and human resources to right um, and in some cases monetary resources maybe you have pending lawsuits maybe you have something like that and you can have secret boards for that right so you don't have to actually deal with um, everybody seeing everything okay and that is pretty powerful as far as the whole software just talking a little bit about how easy it is to use it's very easy compared to basically anything that anyone has used in business so I'm talking about Excel PowerPoint those are base level programs that if you know how to get around them basically you know email Gmail Outlook all of these um, softwares these business softwares I would consider them to be along the same lines of like learning curve and uh, you know training um, workload like, you know the difficulty of training or the length of time that you're gonna spend training people on this you will have to have some sort of basic um, sort of strategy for your own business and how you're going to use it that you're going to have to spread out to your team members but you will be able to reference some of the training guides that have been done um, or the how-to guides I've made a couple uh, Monday.com has made a couple I'm sure that there will be more people that have made some of these that are going to be on the internet in various different places so you should be able to access those spread those through your team and between those guides and then also just the um, you know intuitiveness of the platform you shouldn't have any problem you know getting into this and using it so they also have you know a get help button they're pretty intuitive in terms of many things this company is, is really kind of not ahead of their time but they're right on time so with that being said, if you all have anything else about this software that you want to know, definitely just uh, comment on this video or just message me directly and just try to, you know, just ask me what you, you want to know specifically or reach out to monday.com and ask them, um, you know, whatever questions you have. Uh, overall, this is something that I think can definitely boost your productivity. I think it's a good investment. I think the price right now, I'm not sure. It's I think it's under a hundred bucks a month which is nothing for basically any size company to take on in terms of uh, project management because you know the losses that you have from not managing your human resources effectively are way more impactful than you know just 50 bucks out the door right um, and the visibility and efficiency that you can get on all of your efforts are this is basically invaluable 
you know there is a dollar number you can put on it but it's very very valuable so um, I hope this helped you and once again if you have any questions definitely just drop a comment and thank you so much for watching